And now, please welcome someone who lived to see her futuristic show beyond 2000 become quaintly retro. It's Amanda Keller. Well, hello. Thrilled to be here, and I'm thrilled to present the Logie for the most popular comedy program. And while this year's six nominees are very worthy, I'd like to acknowledge some of the other great Australian comedy shows that didn't quite make it through this year. A surprise, uh, Vasectomy at First Sight, didn't get a look in, <laughs> got the cut. Uh, McLeod's Goiters, where was that? Are you smarter than a stepladder? <laughs> didn't make the list. Warwick Kappa MD, <laughs> Once Were Daddos, you'd think that would be here. Agro, Celebrity Autopsies, we're hoping for a second series. And of course, here comes monkeypox, but there's always next year for that one. So why don't we take a look at the ones that did make the cut? The 100 with Andy Lee, Nine Network. And see if you can guess which celebrity they are mistaken for. Let's kick it off with uh, Belinda. Hey guys. Is anyone off the bat thinking of anyone? Otherwise, I'll ask Belinda. Now, it's Lucy Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy Lou of Asian descent? I can't see race. <laughs> Aftertaste, ABC. I'm working on the vines tomorrow. We'll stop for lunch at one. Bring a dessert. Done. And your business plan. Thanks for your time, Mr. Plus. It's Margot. Why do I feel like I've just been to see the headmistress? Yeah, headmistress you want to get spanked by, I bet, you naughty boy. Go, go, sir. <laughs> the Cheap Seats, Network 10. Welcome back, you're watching The Cheap Seats. Now, interesting you went with Welcome Back. I would have gone with... G'day, g'day, and hot diggity dog surf turkey. <laughs> <laughs> hot diggity dog surf turkeys. Absolutely a guy I would have dated in uni. <laughs> Putting that out there. Uh, uni. <laughs> <laughs> Sean McAuliffe's Mad as Hell, ABC. But uh, one thing the PM isn't claiming credit for is the Sydney lockdown. In fact, he's made it quite clear... <laughs> he's made it quite clear that no one is to blame for the pace of the government's vaccine rollout. And all of the targets, even on their most optimistic scenarios, which haven't been realised, none of them put Australia in a position where uh, a suppression strategy could have been lifted at any time, at least by the end of October. Have you been paying attention? Network 10. I made the news this week when I found what in my boat. What did Bob find in his boat? Aaron, uh, two of every animal. Would... <laughs> yeah, two questions in. Mm. When does Aaron start painting one of us? <laughs> Fisk, ABC. Go. Oh, beg your pardon? Start. Well, what do you need? What can I do for you? Uh, well, uh, hubby suggested I should husband, see... Husband, a... husband. Don't say hubby. Are we on the record? Do I need to be formal? No, I just don't like the word hubby. For some people it's moist, for me it's hubby. Anyway, keep going. Um, my mother died recently. Yeah, OK. And I am sorry for your loss. Thank you. And the TV Week Logie goes to... Have you been paying attention? This is the sixth Logie for the Working Dog production that takes an irreverent look at the week's news and often features mystifying references to 1930s film stars by one of its guests. Here's Tom Gleisner, Ed Cavalier and Sam Pang. Thank you. We, we love making this show and putting it into your living rooms every Monday night. Um, for me as host, uh, one of my great privileges is being in a studio every week with five incredibly, fantastically talented contestants, one of whom joins me on stage this evening <laughs> to accept this award. Um, thank you especially to our, our audience, uh, the people who stuck with us, who voted for us and who were there right from those early seasons where, well, we were that close to 10 peach. But uh, <laughs> we love making the show. Thank you so much, Edward. Um... Uh, yes, so congratulations to all the other nominees uh, in the category. Uh, Pang wanted me to point out that the after party is in his room at the Sofitel. It starts at 2am. It's for maths contestants only. And the, 
The password to get in is Barnaby Joyce. <laughs> Sincere as always, Ed, I appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. I just wanted to acknowledge, too, a wonderful win by travel guides on table 121. <laughs> You can do an episode about coming from the table up to the stage. <laughs> Congratulations. Also, um, I did want to acknowledge running into the 1967 Gold Logie winner, Hazel Phillips, who's here tonight, 92 years of age. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit awkward for Tom. It's always, you know, weird when you run into an ex. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> it is... Uh, I sincerely wanted to say uh, it's... Um, <laughs> Sorry, Hazel. <laughs> um, it, it really is. I thank you. Know, congratulations and thank you to everyone who works on the show. Thank you to everyone who watches the show. And also, I just want to finish. It is an honour for me to sit next to these two guys. And um, just considering where we are, I would like to um, let everyone in the room know that at the end of the year, I am out of contract. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. Congratulations, team. I told you I could swing it. And thanks, Amanda. Although you didn't mention the classic Channel 9 comedy, The Bob Morrison Show, with talking dog Bob Morrison, or Bobo, as he insisted on being called. <laughs>